Asalamu alaikum mpenzi mtazamaji popote pale ulipo bila shaka taswira unayoona hapa ni kiashiria kwamba uh, dimba la dunia linakaribia na hivi sasa zimesalia takriban uh, siku kumi na moja kabla ya World Cup ngwananga katika taifa la Uarabuni uh, kule nchini Qatar ningependa kuchukua fursa hii nikukumbushe mtazamaji kwamba World Cup iko KBC kama unavyoona nyumba nyuma yangu hashtag ni World Cup iko KBC na siku ya leo najisikia pia ni mkarimu sana na kuambatana na masuala haya ya World Cup kule Qatar ningependa kukuuliza swali iwapo utalijibu uh, sawa na utapata swali hilo basi nitakuzawadi mimi kama Ahmed Jumabalo binafsi nitakuzawadi jazi uh, ya timu unayoisupporti uh, kule World Cup swali lenyewe ni hili mimi Ahmed Jumabalo ukinitazama unadhani na shabikia timu gani World Cup Ahmed Jumabalo anashabikia timu gani World Cup. Sema nami kupitia mitandao ya kijamii kwenye mtandao wa Twitter at Ahmed Jumabalo at KBC Channel 1 vile vile kwenye Facebook Ahmed Jumabalo. Na kama una namba yangu, pengine unaweza kunitumia pia WhatsApp ama message unambie balo wewe najua una support timu gani. Baada ya nitapitia na yote ambayo kwamba atakuwa ameibuka mshindi, nitamzawadi jazi ya timu anayosupport. Mtazamaji hivi sasa tupate vidokezo. Wa Kenya sasa hawatahitaji visa kusafiri Afrika Kusini wasema marais William Ruto na Cyril Dramafosa. Ombi la kutupiliwa mbali kwa kesi ya ufisadi dhidi ya Naibu Rais Gathi Gashagwa kusikilizwa mahakamani Jumali Jalo. Mwanamke mmoja wa wanaumati Muranga baada ya kumkata kichwa mpenziwe. Na mtazamaji karibu na utaniu ya radhi aliyouawa uh, huko uh, aliyouawa ni mwanamume ambaye kwamba alikuwa ameamua mpenzi wake katika eneo la nyaga na sio mwanamke aliyouawa na umati kama nilivyodokeza kwenye vidokezo hivyo bila shaka taarifa hiyo nitakuletea kwa kina kwenye taarifa hizi za darubini ya channel 1 karibu mimi naitwa Ahmed Jumabalo ukipenda niite AGB mwenzangu wa ishara ni lensa Odingo. Na wa Kenya walio na vibali vya kawaida vya kusafiri watakubaliwa kuingia na kukaa nchini Afrika Kusini kwa hadi siku tisini kwa mwaka kuanzia mwakani kwenye kikao cha pamoja na wanahabari Rais William Ruto na mwenzake wa Afrika Kusini Cyril Ramaphosa walisema hatua hiyo italegeza sera ngumu za uhamiaji zilizoko baina ya mataifa haya mawili mbali na kuimarisha biashara. Baada ya mashauriano ya takriban saa mbili katika ikulu ya Rais Marais William Ruto na Cyril Ramaphosa walihutubia kikao cha wanahabari ambapo waligusia swala sugu la visa ambalo limezonga uhusiano baina ya Kenya na Afrika Kusini kwa muda. We agreed that indeed Kenyans should be able to visit South Africa without requiring them to have visas and that this dispensation will commence on the 1st of January in 2023 meaning that yes can use the 90 days 10 days 20 days or whatever for the full year Kenyans will have a full 90 days on behalf of the people of Kenya i express Kenya's appreciation on the progress we have made in the long awaited visa free regime between Kenya and South Africa. Uamuzi wa kulegeza masharti magumu ya uhamiaji baina ya Kenya na Afrika Kusini unatarajiwa kuimarisha biashara barani Afrika huku marais hao wakiahidi kuhakikisha makubaliano yaliyotiwa sahihi yanatekelezwa. Under the new regime we can build a greater relationship in business in uh, culture in uh, uh, commun communal relationship in social relationships because we can be able to move chini ya kanuni hizo mpya 
Viongozi hao waliahidi kuchukua hatua za pamoja wakati sheria na sera za uhamiaji zinapokiukwa. Illegal immigrants, people who abuse the system, people who take advantage of the system, people who rig the system, people who should change the system. They don't deserve to be in South Africa and they don't deserve to be in Kenya. And this in many ways just strengthens the relationship between South Africa and Kenya but more importantly the people to people contact because as you and I observed Kenyans and South Africans have multiplicities of relations Mazungumzo hayo pia yaligusia masala ya kibiashara ambapo mikataba minne ya kuboresha uhusiano kati ya mataifa hayo iliyafikiwa They are three memoranda of understanding and one agreement on cooperation in the fields of correctional services, cooperation in the fields of housing and human settlement, cooperation between Kenya School of Government and the National School of Government from South Africa, and the agreement on audiovisual co-production. And this builds on the other agreements that we had signed in the past. We are committed to ensure that the agreements and the memorandum of understanding that we have signed now and in the past will be implemented fully. Hali kadhalika viongozi hao walijadiliana kuhusu masala ya tabia nchi, uhusiano wa kiuchumi na usalama barani Afrika hususan katika mataifa ya Ethiopia na Jamhuri ya Demokrasia ya Kongo. Ben Chumba, Darubini. Na kwengineko mahakama ya kushughulikia kesi za ufisadi itatoa uamuzi Jumanne kuhusu ombi la ofisi ya mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma la kuondoa kesi ya ufisadi ya shilingi bilioni 7.3 dhidi ya naibu rais Rigathi Gashagwa upande wa mashtaka umesema idara ya upelelezi wa jinai DCI imekosa kuwasilisha ushahidi wa kutosha kwa upande wa utetezi ili kuwezesha kesi hiyo kuendelea na unataka kesi hiyo iondolewe Jumatano asubuhi katika mahakama ya milimani. So you identify with the contents of this affidavit dated uh, 15th October. Wakati kesi ya ufisadi inayomkabili naibu rais Rigathi Gashagwa na watu wengine tisa ilipotajwa upande wa mashtaka uliomba kuondoa kesi hiyo baada ya juhudi za kutafuta ushahidi zaidi kutoka kwa idara ya upelelezi wa jinai DCI kuambulia patupu Upande wa utetezi ukiongozwa na wakili Kioko Kilukumi ulipongeza ombi hilo ukisema watuhumiwa hao walishtakiwa bila ushahidi wa kutosha dhidi yao. We were told irrespective of the evidence half charges against these people. That's what it says. Yes, and I'm saying. Yes. That based on the briefings and evidence we had collected at that point we made the recommendations. Afisa mpelelezi Kuria Obadia kwenye hati yake ya kiapo alimlaumu aliyekuwa mkurugenzi wa DCI George Kinoti akisema alikuwa kikabiliwa na shinikizo kutoka kwa mkubwa wake ili kutekeleza kesi hiyo. Do you know what you are saying and what you have been able to say are two different things. And the same thing. We report to our boss on what we have done. We get directions, we make, we follow the directions. That's how we work. So you made the recommendation based on evidence or based on the instructions of Kinoti? Based on the evidence and the briefings that we had. Kwenye kesi hiyo naibu rais Rigadi Gashagwa na watuhumiwa wengine tisa wanakabiliwa na mashtaka sita ya uhalifu wa kiuchumi ikiwa ni pamoja na kupanga njama ya kutekeleza ufisadi, ulanguzi wa pesa na kujipatia mali ya umma kwa njia ya udanganyifu. Watuhumiwa kwa pamoja 
walipokea shilingi bilioni saba milioni tano kupitia benki ya taasisi ndogo ya kifedha wakifahamu kuwa pesa hizo zilitokana na vitendo vya uhalifu Inaaminika kuwa makosa hayo yalifanyika tarehe tofauti kati ya mwaka 2013 na 2020. Na mtazamaji kumbuka World Cup iko KBC ni wakati wa kupata pumziko fupi lakini nakukumbusha kwamba leo nimekuuliza mimi Ahmed Jumabalo na support ama na shabikia timu gani uh, kwenye jimba hilo la World Cup nchini Qatar. Ikiwa unanifuatilia sana kwenye mitandao Twitter, Facebook, Instagram nishawahi kugusia sana uh, timu ninayopenda mimi timu ya kitaifa World Cup naona watu hapa wanajibu labda nipite tu baadhi uh, Walid Mahrus akiwa uh, hapa hapa Nairobi anasema Argentina uh, Lali akiwa Mombasa anasema pia Argentina uh, mwingine hapa naona anasema uh, kat... <laughs> sema mimi naonekana na asili ya Kiarabu kwa hivyo na support Qatar mwingine anasema Ghana mwingine Ufaransa endelea kusema nami mtazamaji alafu atakaipanda atakaipata bila shaka nitamzawadi jazi ya timu anayoipenda hivi sasa tupate pumziko fupi So tell me, which team are you playing for, my dear? Is it your damn father's team, or is it mine? Yes, you are my son, Tobias. Do you remember? Do you remember you once asked me to help you find your son? Well, here I am. Why is Dad with another woman? What are you going to tell her? I mean, at the end of the day, you have no right over her or her life. What do you want? What are you doing here? Hey, you still have the audacity to look at me that way in your repulsive state, really now? I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? I saw you, Almudena. I saw you in the cafeteria hugging Jaime, Hisela's husband. To be honest, I never thought you could do it. But you know what? You have no idea how much it disappoints me. I'm sorry to inform you that you will never be able to speak again. Apart from that, your hands are useless. No. No 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 this cannot be happening to me doctor I can't be have a new story to share with KBC get in touch swiftly on email news at kbc.co.ke or call 0723-892-654 or 0734-780-124 Na karibu mtazamaji tuendelee kukujuza yanayojiri katika maeneo tofauti na kaunti kadhaa zimechukua hatua ya kupiga marufuku uchuzi wa chakula katikati ama katika miji na kando wa barabara kuu kutokana na visa vilivyoripotiwa vya mchipuko wa kipindupindu kaunti ya Meru imeripoti visa 14 vya wanaoshukiwa kuwa na ugonjwa huo wakazi wamehimizwa kuzingatia usafi wa hali ya juu huku maafisa wa afya wakielimishana jinsi ya ukabiliana na msambao wa kipindupindu Mwezi uliopita Wizara ya Afya ilitoa tahadhari kuhusu cha mko la ugonjwa wa kipindupindu baada ya visa 61 kunakiliwa katika kaunti sita zikiwemo Kiambu, Nairobi, Muranga, Kajiado na Kuru na Uasingesho Hivi majuzi kaunti za Meru na Nakuru pia viliripoti cha mko la ugonjwa huo Katika juhudi za kukabiliana na ugonjwa huo Serikali ya kaunti ya Meru imepiga marufuku uchuzi wa vyakula kando ya barabara za miji. Kulingana na naibu gavana ambaye pia ni kaimu waziri wa afya katika kaunti hiyo Isaac Mutuma, eneo hilo limenakili wagonjwa 14 wanaoshukiwa kuambukizwa kipindupindu huku wagonjwa 11 wakitibiwa. Mutuma aliwahimiza wakazi wa kaunti hiyo kuzingatia usafi 
kunywa maji safi na kudumisha usafi kaimu afisa mkuu wa afya joseph ohome amesema kuwa wadau wanajizatiti kuhakisha kuwa wakazi wanapata uhamasisho kama njia moja wapo ya kukabiliana na kipindo pindo katika kaunti hiyo the department commenced this response activities to prevent further spread of the disease and manage the outbreak as a positive uh, note is to highlight that the cases have not extended as much the key thing we want to highlight is that cholera is quite contagious in terms of uh, the spread and as a community in terms of meru we need to be more careful in terms of food hygiene and basic sanitation serikali ya county ya meru imetenga wadi maalum katika vituo kadhaa vya afya ili kuhudumia wagonjwa walioathirika na kipindu pindu kwingineko serikali ya county ya nakuru imepiga marufuku uchuzi wa samaki barabarani katika barabara kuu ya Nairobi na Kuru ili kukabiliana na chamuko la kipindu pindu uchuzi wa chakula barabarani katika maeneo ambayo hayajateuliwa umepigwa marufuku katika kaunti yote kupitia idara ya afya kaunti hiyo pia imepiga marufuku uchuzi wa chakula katika miji mikuu ili kupunguza msambao wa kipindu pindu hata hivyo afisa wa afya uma katika kaunti ndogo ya Naivasha Margaret Wainaina alisema wanafanya kila juhudi kukabiliana na ugonjwa huo We have been able to ban any food hawking and open cooking within the town within the highways and within the estates. As a county or as a sub county we have been able to identify isolation centers and cholera treatment center which is majorly our hospital in Ayavasha. Wainaina alitoa wito kwa Uma kuripoti visa vya ugonjwa wa kipindupindu kwa idara ya afya ya Uma huko kampuni za maji taka na maji zikiagizwa kushughulikia hali ya kuziba kwa mifereji yao na kwingineko serikali inapanga kuzindua maeneo muhimu ya kuimarisha mitandao ya kidijitali katika masoko na taasisi za mafunzo kote nchini katika juhudi za kuimarisha ajenda ya masuala ya kidijitali akiongea wakati wa uzinduzi wa eneo muhimu la kuimarisha uwepo wa mtandao wa dijitali katika soko la city katika timu jiji la Nairobi waziri wa habari mawasiliano teknolojia na masala ya dijitali Eliud Owalo alitoa changamoto kwa wafanyabiashara kuzingatia teknolojia hiyo katika utoaji wa bidhaa na huduma Timothy Kipdusu anatuarifu zaidi Wafanyabiashara waliokuwa wamejawa na furaha walikaribisha kwa mikono miwili uzinduzi wa eneo maalum la kuimarisha mtandao wa kidijitali katika soko la City katika kaunti ya Nairobi na waziri wa habari mawasiliano teknolojia na masuala ya dijitali Eliud Owalo. We're going to launch a total of 25,000 hotspots all over Kenya all over the country in the short run. This is just but the beginning. Eneo hilo muhimu la kidijitali linalenga kusaidia biashara zinazotegemea mfumo wa dijitali kutoa bidhaa na huduma na pia kuwasaidia vijana wanaotafuta kazi mitandaoni. That we are taking internet to the people. We did say that we are going to construct a total of 100,000 kilometers of fiber optic cable so that we are able to take internet to the people. Owalo amesema kuwa kituo hicho ni sehemu ya mipango ya serikali ya kuifanya Kenya kuwa na ushindani ufao kimataifa katika masuala ya dijitali. Na mwanamume wa umri wa makamu ameuawa na umati wa watu katika sehemu ya Nyaga huko Gatanga kaunti ya Muranga baada ya kumkata shingo mwanamke anasemekana kuwa mpenzi wake. Na kwingineko mwanamume mmoja kutoka sehemu ya Emom huko Baringo ya Kati amemkata mkewe mkono kwa panga baada ya kuzozana naye kabla ya kujaribu kujua kwa kutumia panga hilo hilo Ruth Wamboi anasimulia zaidi Imesemekana kama ungugi mwenye umri wa miaka 30 alimshambulia Mary Muhaki mwenye umri wa miaka 39 katika mahala pake pa kazi. Bana anakamua ngombe, ndio akamustukia na panga na kumkata vibaya kwenye shigo iko upande na mwili. Wakazi wa sehemu ya Nyaga huko Gatanga kaunti ya Muranga waliojawa na hamaki kutokana na kitendo hicho walimshambulia ngugi. Serikali ni vizuri ikubuke watu ambao tunaona wakitembea kwa barabara 
akili zao zikobali kwa sababu ya ile economic hardships tuko nazo na ni vizuri tuambie serikali ipange mikakati ya kufanya counseling sessions hapa mashinani Mwiaki anadaiwa kumpa talaka mumewe miaka michache iliyopita na amekuwa na uhusiano wa kimapenzi na ngugi. Kwingineko mwanaume mmoja kutoka sehemu ya Emom huko Baringo ya Kati amemkata mkewe mkono kwa kutumia panga kufuatia ugomvi kabla ya kujaribu kujiua kwa kutumia panga hiyo hiyo. Imedaiwa kuwa Laban Kipchumba alitekeleza kitendo hicho baada ya kuzozana na mkewe kuhusu mtoto wao. Wewe kwa mtangu kwa baka. Aka tup, aka nikata na banga hivi. Once nataka kiangu sababu mimi nili nimearibiwa maisha siwezi tena kufanya kazi. Ili swamesa yende kama amaza fufu alipata si minus. Nilikuwa nataka nipeleke kwa lazima sasa naana mkono sasa ataandika nani. Kulingana na superintendent wa matibabu katika hospitali ya matibabu maalum ya Baringo, Gershon Abalakwa, visa vya dhuluma za kijinsia vimeongezeka katika kaunti ya Baringo na ametoa wito kwa wadau kuingilia kati. We were not able to return the distal end of the hand because of the time taken before we received that hand and it had a lot of debris. So it na mwili wa mwanamke wa umri wa makamu umetolewa kutoka bwawa la Kabwito kijiji cha Kipkorgot kaunti ya Wasingishu na kundi la wazima moto isingiriwe kando around i mean they they put a scale around kitu kama wenda ni electric ama wege na wawege mtu mwenye wanachunga Kulingana na afisa mkuu wa shughuli katika idara ya kukabiliana na mikasa ya moto katika kaunti ya Wasingishu Hassan Mukwana hakuna mtu ambaye amejitokeza kudai mwili huo. Na nashukuru sana raia wa hapa kwa sababu majanga kama haya yanapopatikana huwa tunapata ripoti kwa wepesi tafadhali. Wakazi wamesema boa hilo limekuwa eneo la kutupia wadhiriwa wa mauaji na wale wanaojiwa. Wakiongozwa na Thomas Kiplagat Maina, wakazi yao wametoa wito kwa serikali ya kaunti hiyo kuchukua hatua ya haraka kuimarisha usalama. Wakati huo huo familia moja katika kijiji cha Kalingwe kaunti ya Machakos inaishi kwa hofu ya kushambuliwa na mwanaume ambaye umesema alimnajisi binti yao. Alinitoa nguo then akanirip. But alinifunganisha mdomo kisha akaninyonga. Siku na uweze kwa sababu alinishinda nguo. Anyia na wao hapo kwa barabara wauwe na watupe roho yangu iko na mauchungu na nasikia haini kama huyo mtoto wangu ataacha shule msichana huyo mwenye umri wa miaka 16 anasema kuwa mwanaume huyo amekuwa akimfuata wakati anapoelekea shuleni msichana huyo ameripotiwa kuna jisiwa tarehe 14 mwezi uliopita wameweza kutopatia baadhi ya majina ya waalifu ambao wanahusika kama wanataka police post jengwe wanataka police station wanataka pia barabara zitengenezwe wanataka pia security light na tumesema proposal ilifanywe iletwe hizi resolutions iletwe kwa gavana kwa ofisi ya gavana alafu sisi kama county government because county na national government zita collaborate Ruth Wamboi Darubini Na mtazamaji hivi sasa tuangazie taarifa za biashara viongozi wa kidini wanataka serikali kurejesha marufuku dhidi ya vyakula kisaki kufuatia hofu kwamba huenda vikasababisha madhara kwa vyakula vya kiasili na hivyo kuathiri uzaji wa bidhaa hizo katika mataifa ya kigeni kamati ya makundi mseto ya kidini imesema mbali na wasiwasi kuhusu athari zake kwa afya kuondolewa kwa marufuku hiyo hakujumuishe maoni hakukujumuisha kumradhi maoni ya umma ufuatao ni mseto wa taarifa za biashara Mwezi uliopita serikali ilitangaza kuondolewa kwa marufuku dhidi ya vyakula kisaki iliyowekwa mwaka 2012 lakini sasa viongozi wa kidini wanaitaka serikali kurejesha marufuku hiyo kwa sababu za kiafya na kuhifadhi vyakula vya kiasili Let us have a discussion and see how can we sustainably thinking about think about uh, food sovereignty and food security 
There are many other solutions. Yes, we support bioengineering. Of course, we know science supports life also. But you're talking about the negative effects of the bad GMO. Wanasema serikali inapaswa kutafuta mbinu mbadala kuhakikisha kujitosheleza kwa chakula. A temporary solution is provision of food from those counties which have the products. Let the government ensure that there is delivery of every produce that is available to those who do not need it and do, do, do not have it kwingineko yeah. wakulima wa mboga na matunda huenda wakapata hasara ya shilingi bilioni 20 kutokana na ukame unaoshuhudiwa na pia mgomo wa marubani wa ndege za shirika la Kenya Airways mkurugenzi wa chama cha wakulima wa mboga na matunda Benjamin Tito amesema hali hiyo imezidi kuwa mbaya kutokana na kuzuiwa kwa baadhi ya bidhaa za Kenya kuingia kwenye masoko ya bara Ulaya would be having a shortfall of around 20 billion and that is something that uh, we really need to quickly see ways in which we can be able to put things together 40% is actually going to to waste is uh, um, and uh, because of uh, uh, post harvesting loss um, so how do we how do we improve that how do we change that how do we uh, make uh, uh, um, Kenya export more mwishowe kampuni ya Daikan imeanzisha mpango wa ubora wa bidhaa kwa ushirikiano na taasisi ya mafunzo ya Don Bosco kama sehemu ya mradi wake wa utoaji ujuzi barani Afrika mpango huo unalenga kuwapa vijana mafunzo kuhusu teknolojia kisasa ya mifumo ya kuvuta hewa safi It's basically aimed to upskill the students of Kenya and do not restrict myself to Kenya only but I also look at East African nations the NITA fraternity uh, I'm encouraged and inspired by your motivation to help us redefine the current skills development and landscape in our country Frederick Muki Darubini Kumina moja ndiyo siku ambazo zimesalia kama ulivyotizama kwenye kiwambo chako kivumbi kutifuliwa katika uh, kombe la dunia nchini Qatar hujambo na uh, karibu kwenye habari za sport kumbusha tu uh, World Cup iko KBC mimi naitwa Timothy Kipnoso mshambulizi wa timu ya Senegal Sadio Mane wenda asishiriki katika fainali za mwaka huu za kombe la dunia baada ya kujeruhiwa katika mechi baina ya Bayern Munich na Werder Bremen ugani Allianz Arena Kwingineko timu ya Mexico imedhibitisha kuwa mchezaji Jesus Manuel Corona hatakuwa katika kikosi cha wachezaji 26 cha nchi hiyo kitakacho shiriki katika fainali za kombe la dunia nchini Qatar fainali za kombe la dunia zitaonyeshwa mbashara kwenye runinga ya KBC Channel 1 na idhaa zote za redio za KBC kuanzia tarehe 20 mwezi huu hadi Disemba 18 mwaka huu get four out of five Mane Mane Senegal our African champions 13 zijazo Suarez over on that far side and it's pinpoint Well dangerous cross
nchini Uruguay Luis Suarez na Edinson wako tayari kushiriki katika finali zao za mwisho za kombe la dunia Washambulizi hao wawili wenye umri wa miaka 35 wamekuwa wachezaji bora katika timu hiyo almarufu Celeste katika mwongo mmoja unusu uliopita na wamekuwa wafungaji bora zaidi katika historia ya timu hiyo kwa kufunga jumla ya mabao 126 Kwingineko, timu ya soka ya Ureno itanuia kulipiza kisasi dhidi ya Uruguay katika kundi la H. Ureno iliondolewa na timu hiyo ya Kusini mwa Amerika katika raundi ya 16 bora katika fainali za mwaka wa 2018 na itamtegemea Cristiano Ronaldo kujipatia ushindi wakati huu. Kikosi cha Italia, timu ambayo aliwakilisha katika kitengo cha wachezaji wasiozidi umri wa miaka 19 na pia ile ya wachezaji wasiozidi miaka 20. Finali za mwaka huu za kombe la dunia zitaonyeshwa mbashara kwenye runinga ya KBC Channel 1 na idhaa zote za redio za KBC kuanzia tarehe 20 mwezi huu hadi Disemba 18 mwaka huu. World Cup iko KBC. Nikiwa kwenye muktadha huo huo mtazamaji huku zikiwa zimesalia siku kumi na moja kabla ya kuandaliwa kwa finali za kombe la dunia nchini Qatar leo kwenye sehemu yetu ya wasifu wa mchezaji tunamwangazia Aina Valencia mshambulizi huyo Ecuador mwenye umri wa miaka 30 mitatu amechezea timu hiyo ya kusini mwa Amerika tangu mwaka 2012 ambapo ameifungia jumla mabao 35 katika mechi sabini na minne. Ni hayo tu kwenye habari za sporti na uh, kama alivyo uliza swali hapo awali mwenzangu uh, Juma Abalo kuhusiana na maandalizi ya kombe la dunia na ili kukomba ni timu gani ye anashabikia zaidi na hii leo basi tutakuwa tunajaribu kwa uh, baini wapo nyeni wafuasi sugu wa runinga hii ya KBC Channel 1 na wana habari ambao wamebobea na kutopea katika usanjari wa wana habari mwenzangu balo sijui kama na no. yule ambaye ameweza kufaulu kupata jibu na no, kiufupi ni kwamba Hakuna mtu yeyote ambaye ameweza kupata swali hilo kufikia sasa kwenye status ya WhatsApp, kwenye Instagram, kwenye Facebook, kwenye Twitter. Mimi na support timu gani? Watu wanasema Brazil, wengine Croatia, wengine Denmark, wengine Senegal, wengine Ghana. Lakini mpaka sasa hakuna mshindi. Siji swali hilo niliwache wazi ama vipi? Itabidi usubiri. Na mtazamaji na rafiki wa muda umetupatia kisogo. Mimi naitwa Ahmed Jumabalo, ukipenda niite AJB mwenzetu wa lugha ishara ni Lensa Odingo. Kwaheri. There are days when you think, oh, Leona deserve, so order a Glovo. Days when plans inachelewa, what if you order a Glovo? Glovo, you order, we get it.